Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a peeping Tom on our hands. The owner of a women's only gym has been caught up trying to explain himself as to why he put a camera in the gym's bathroom. There's a whole interview of him explaining it, and I'm going to go through it right now and basically tell you why it's all a bunch of horse shit. And it's just so creepy and such disgusting behavior out of the gym's owner. Why was there a camera in the restroom? I suspected someone of stealing from me. I spent some time discussing it with those who I work with, a few clients. I've known this person who I suspected for my entire life. I'm part of their family. Uh, they gave me a place to stay in high school when I was um, in a tough place, in a tough spot. So we're starting this apology video off strong. He's sniffling, trying to get some sympathy points for that <laughs> that sad sniffle. But also he brings up the point that the reason that he put the camera in the bathroom was to catch a thief. You know, someone was stealing from him. So he had to catch him by putting a camera in the bathroom. And now what were they stealing that would warrant him going to that extreme of putting a camera in the bathroom? Was there adamantium? Was the holy grail being stored in that bathroom? Well, it was it was a uh, some some uh, I can't speak. It was some teeth whitening gel, tanning foam, a tanning glove, and 800 uh, or $180 worth of face serum beneath the sink. And overall, the total of all the missing products was about 300 to $400. And I find it hilarious that he declined to name this person for the sake of protecting their privacy. Ironic, huh? <laughs> you can't write this shit, dude. But also, why would he not just take those things to his house? If they're his and he didn't want anyone using them, like he says, he said he put them in the underneath the sink because he didn't think anybody would take them out of there because they're hidden away. So why not not take those things to the gym? Why not leave that at your home? That way no one can steal your stuff and that would give you no reason to put a camera in the bathroom. And he says that he was 99% certain that they were stealing from them and also that this was the sole worst decision I've ever made in my entire life. So was the worst decision you putting the camera in the bathroom or someone actually finding the camera that you put in the bathroom? Because I'm sure if no one found it, no one's seen it, then you would have never even addressed it or even brought it up in the first place. Which that's how it goes with everything. No one apologizes for something until they get caught. Because they aren't sorry until they get caught. And honestly, no amount of just- there is no justification for, for putting a camera in the bathroom. If you do that, you're just a creep. And he says in the interview that he put the camera there at a time that he knew this person came in every single day and that he also didn't put a memory card in it and he tried to make that clear that he didn't record anything. He set it up to where he could see through the, what the camera was seeing if he was within like a 30 foot radius of the camera. So he had it up to monitor the feed and he says he wasn't recording anything or storing anything on a drive or to the cloud or anything like that. He says no recordings were saved. He only wanted to see that person go into the bathroom, steal the, the, stuff, the stuff that they were stealing that he for some reason stored in a public area, and then he would take that as justification and solid proof to then kick them out and ask them to leave and never come back. But instead, what ended up happening was that he was busy or something at the time that they came in, and a new client, a new member of the gym, went to use the bathroom at a place that they thought was safe, because this is supposed to be, remember, a 24-hour fitness center for females. The sole purpose of this gym's existence is to create a safe place for people who may feel unsafe in other public gyms. And this right here completely throws that all away. It takes it, balls it up, and flushes it down the toilet because that trust is now severed and it's never going to be regained. You're never gonna get trust back with most people from this gym. And how could you? You can't blame them. I, I would never want to go back to a gym if I found out that the owner put a camera in the bathroom. Regardless of their intentions, if they're telling the truth or not, there was a camera in the bathroom. And that fact is very hard to get over. But after the new member found the camera, they of course reported it to him, and he said that he didn't know anything about it. You know, he was trying to play it off and act like, Oh, whoa, 
This is news to me. Who put that? Whose camera is that? Who did that? Whoa! What's that about? Um, I was emotional. They denied things to my face, so I was triggered. I placed a divinity. I set it up at a time that this individual comes every day, um, before 5 o'clock when everybody else comes. And they arrived, and I said, this is my option. This is my opportunity to do it. At which point, the new member that had been here for four days instead goes in there, arrives at that earlier time before 5 o'clock. I thought to stop them. They find it, bring it to my attention, and I uh, instantly become deceptive and defensive. I am doing the same thing with uh, the police when they arrive. Yeah, how could you not expect that to be a possibility? You know that that's the time they come in every day, so you set it up to look at it at that time when they come in. So if they do decide to use the bathroom, you're going to watch that person, that trusted friend or whatever, use the bathroom before they steal your stuff also. But on top of that, you got to factor in the possibility, the high possibility, that someone else could go to the bathroom at the very same time. Like, even if we are going off of what he's saying and believing that it's true, that he's not a fib teller, that he's not telling some, some lies here, it's just a dumb and naive plan from the very start. It was not well thought out, and the execution is god-awful. This is just, just... It's deplorable in every sense of it. It's stupid and deplorable. At which point, due to my criminal past, everything that I've been through, I, I knew it was not going to look good. I spoke to detectives the next day, disclosed everything um, that you're going to hear here. So yeah, he mentions his uh, criminal history and how it's not going to look good on top of that. Because, well, what happened after this is once the camera was found and once he told everything to the detectives... Sorry, I got burpy. They got a search warrant, and they searched his house like two weeks later, where they found a ghost gun and a misdemeanor quantity of testosterone because he's taking hormones. He's doing hormone replacement therapy. In gym terms, he's not natty, which, you know, that, that doesn't matter to this story, really. It's not relevant whatsoever. But his criminal history that he's talking about is that he had seven previous convictions for different crimes, including felony drug charge, public intoxication, driving under the influence, and prowling. And that last one doesn't really look too good in relation to what you just did. And all those charges were between 2006 and 2008, and apparently they were all purged from his record in 2018. And of course, he's pleaded not guilty to the crimes that happened on September 27th, and now he's only being charged with recording in a place of privacy, surreptitiously, and he's not being charged in a crime for sexual gratification. Because I guess in all fairness, he wasn't jerking off to the feed of the bathroom, at the very least. But this right here is what it, the camera view looked like, how it was set up. So yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's pretty damning right there. It's just so, so weird in any sense. No matter what the reason, it's so messed up to have a camera in the bathroom like obviously anybody who experiences something like this is going to feel <laughs> but yeah they're gonna feel like that they're gonna feel disgusted and violated yeah, and the last question would be where do you go from here moving forward it's hard to say what i can do other than to tell my story the obvious hope the obvious hope is to bring um those who are willing to listen back and be given an opportunity to reestablish trust um, it's a big ask, I understand, um, but that is what I am feeling I need to do. Um, so obviously there at the end, he's saying what you would expect him to say. He hopes that he can rebuild trust, blah, blah, blah. He understands it's a big ask. Yeah, it's going to be a hard sell, uh, you know, trying to get people to buy memberships. And then they're like, hey, wait, this is the gym that... The, the owner put a camera in the bathroom, right? And they're like, yeah, that it is. It's a gym that was marketed as being a safe place that ended up being one of the most unsafe gyms in the area. So I'm probably going to go to the other gym down the street that, you know, people also say is good and just not risk him putting like another camera. If he had one, who's to say he doesn't have another hidden camera or maybe another camera in the other bathroom? Who knows, man? It's hard to say. And his explanation honestly sounds a bit dumb. It doesn't sound too legit. And if it is legit, 
at the very least, the dude's a moron. He is very naive in thinking that that was the best way to catch someone in the act, you know? He, uh, he was trying to put the piece of cheese under the cardboard box and prop a stick up under it by using a camera. That was his trap. And it, it was just, it, it, it was never gonna work. It was doomed since conception. And yet he still went through with it. He thought about it, said, yeah, I'm gonna put a camera in the bathroom, put the camera in the bathroom, and then decided to stick with the plan. And that right there, at the very least, proves he's one of the dumbest people in existence. And if he had ulterior motives, you know, creepy, disgusting motives, which it definitely seems like he did, in my personal opinion, then yeah, that makes it even worse, because he purposely did this, and he knew what he was doing from the very start. He wanted to creep on people. Like, this isn't your personal bathroom, so don't put your personal grooming products in there. Leave them at your house, or have an actual personal bathroom in this place where only you go in. And then this problem would have never popped up, and you would have had to never had the need to throw a camera in here, throw a GoPro in there in the first place. And that's pretty much it for this story. The gym that was supposed to be the safe haven for majority women ended up being one of the most un unsafe, uncomfortable places on the planet, knowing that the, the owner put a camera in the bathroom. It's just a crazy story, and regardless of his, his the reasoning behind it, it's still creepy and disgusting behavior at the end of the day, no matter what way you look at it. And other than that, I'll catch you in the next one.